Hello Central, this is Mrs. Dogan, your media specialist. I'm here to help you today find some awesome resources for your artist of choice. So today we're going to look at the YZ Destiny catalog to see what kind of books we have. And we're also going to look at some databases. Because I don't want to just go to Google and type in our artist. I don't want to just type in Van Gogh. I want to find some really good high quality resources from verified websites and newspapers and good stuff like that. So in order to do that, we are going to go to YZ Destiny. Just type in YZ Destiny. Sorry about the clicking. Okay, so here we are at the YZ Destiny site, and we're just going to click on Central, because that'll show us all the books at Central. And something I like to do is just take this sublocation and change that to Artists and Art Research. That way, no matter what I type in, it will give me an art book. It's not going to give me a Garfield book about Vincent Van Gogh or whatever. It's going to give me just an art book. So all i got to do is type in my artist name. Let's just do the last name. And then we'll press Enter. There we go. So it looks like we have 16 books that are art books about Vincent Van Gogh. And we have all kinds of books. We have like this 50 modern artists you should know or 50 artists you should know or we have books just about the painting sunflowers. Like we can go very specific, we can go very general. Some of these books are 32 pages long. Some of these books are probably five or 600 pages long. We can get you pretty much anything you want. Really like these eyewitness ones, but you can log in in that upper right corner and put any book you want on hold. Or you can just grab a book off the shelf and email me a picture of the barcode and I will check that out to you for one month. I want you to have lots of good resources for your artist research. Now, if you can't find a book, a good thing you can do is go to the eLibrary MN databases. So we're going to type in eLibraryMN.org, and that'll take us to this neat little homepage here. Now, this is just a homepage, and it's, behind it are thousands of different homepages with different search bars in them. So one of them is just like a database full of newspapers, or there's like your historical periodicals, health articles, very specific stuff. Something I could just do is go to newspapers, and then here we go. Here's nine different places I can just get newspapers. Here's the historical Minneapolis Tribune. So maybe you, you want an article from way back when, when your artist was alive. That can be cool. Or maybe you want something more modern. Maybe you want to use this ProQuest US News Stream to find uh, articles about artists that are still alive. Or these uh, high school or middle school level ones will give you longer or shorter articles about your artist. So really, we could go with all kinds of reading levels, all kinds of in-depth explanations, or just something short. It's all here in this database. So yeah, give that a try. Highly, highly recommend. So I've chosen one of these databases now, and I'm just going to type in my search term. Again, I'm just going to use Van Gogh, the last name. You can verify you spelled it correctly on Google before you type it in. And then here you go. Look at that, 71,000 articles. That's a lot, so maybe we could narrow it down. Here on the left side, we have lots of ways of just making the search results smaller. You could just pick a certain article, a certain decade it was published in, a certain kind of article. Maybe you just want a magazine article and not a newspaper. You can get very specific with this too. But either way, 71,000 results are kind of too much, so it's okay to just pick something short or pick something relevant. 